Hey friends, thanks for joining me, Nina here. Today I have more than seven tips to show you how to create a peek through journal using the out of this world release from Art by Merlene and the skewed peek through die set also from Art by Merlene. Also, don't forget that we still have a giveaway going on. Stay tuned by the end of this video. I'm going to tell you all about it. First of all, I did cut from Bristol Smooth Paper the outer page using these dies and two inner pages. And then I'm going to decorate the front cover of my mini booklet. I'm going to place these dies and I'm thinking about placing them in such a way that they can peek through and show what's uh, underneath and the pages beneath. So I did cut two from this because the opening is big and I don't want the paper to be a little flimsy at this area. I did cut two of them and I'm going to place it on top of, on top of each other so it can be more sturdy. Then here is the first step. I'm going to show you how to add this back to its place. Because you want it to peek through, you don't want to put any tape behind. So what I do is I go all around the inner edges of the opening with my very thin tip of my crafty glue. You see I'm going all around the inner edges. I'm not putting it on top of the page. I'm putting it to the side, the edges of the page. Then I'm going to place my die cut where back where it belongs. And then I'm going to lightly press and I'm going to leave it like this for a while until it totally dries. If I move it now, I want, to st I want it to stay flat. If I move it now, it's going to warp and not stay flat. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other two openings. Look how it looks at the end. Then I'm going to bring my scoreboard and I'm going to score in the middle so I can fold my front cover. The die does create this score line for you. So it will be very easy for you to locate it and fold over that score line. Then I'm going to use the collage papers. So here is another tip. When you want your cover to show the next page, make sure that this is the spot you want to show from the outside. So I use the pages from the collage papers. You are going to find it with all the materials that I'm going to use today in the description below. So I did choose the paper that I wanted to peek through and then I die cut the paper. I did place my die exactly where I want it to be. Here I'm showing you that I'm going to use my uh, gel matte medium to stick the next page, the inner pages. So always start from one side, use a very dry brush, do not put water and directly add the glue to one side and then starting from the other end, align the other end and then move forward to stick the side that you glued. Then you're going to bit by bit raise up your collage paper, put a little glue and then again stick it and remove the bubbles. Then again for the next part put your glue bit by bit. You need to be very patient otherwise you're gonna have a lot of bubbles. Let's see here this is how it looks at the end and this is the part that I wanted to peek through. That's why I did die cut it this way. I'm checking the other side in case I like anything. So, but that's what we're gonna stick to by the end. I did the same thing to put the collage paper on the inner page, the other side, and then another page exactly the same way. Here we're going to use the same die set to create the collage paper. Take care that the collage paper is very thin and it can get cut even from the washi tape. Here is another tip to create more peek through windows. I'm going to take this fun die and for some interest after I did cut it, I am going to flip it to the other side for a very cute look. So the purple part became 
next to the blue part and the blue part became next to the purple part, giving this cute, cute effect. So this is a quick flip through the our base where we're going to add our elements. Very cute. Now I am going to use all the a lot a lot of aliens and robots from this paper element book from the out of this world release of art by Marlene. I'm gonna take my time and remove it since they had thin head they have thin hands. These parts can get cut. So these are the uh, cutouts that I chose. Using these booklets makes it very easy because the pieces are already cut for you. You're just gonna pop it out of your uh, booklet. Then I'm going to, this is the only one that I'm gonna stick directly to the page, but then after this, the others, I'm gonna use uh, foam tape to give it some dimension. Here, I found that this part was too white, uh, too uh, light, and it's not showing the planet that I want to place over here. So I decided to bring my black suit distress ink and I'm going to darken this area a little bit now. See, when I put my planet now, how it's gonna pop against that black. Look how cute. And then also another tip, always check your window. How do you want to place your items? Keep checking your window all the time so you know where you want to place your items inside. I don't want this area to be empty by the end when I finish. It will be very difficult to remove my paper element and replace it after I close. So I keep checking my window and I keep checking that everything underneath is exactly where I want it. Then I did cut a paper from a very big die and um, I did stick one of my collage papers on top of it and to create um, a planet. Oh, here is a tip. Put your planet or picture, put your element where you want it to be on the page and then mark, and then mark with your pencil where you want to cut it. Don't just eyeball it. It always <laughs> goes wrong. So I did put my planet over there, I did mark with the pencil, and then I cut. And then again I did place it, and then I split it where the pages will fold. So we don't want it to be one piece. I did cut it. Again, I did mark with the pencil where to cut, and then I did cut it vertically. So when I close my booklet, it doesn't become a problem. Then I'm going to start adding my element C. I did add foam tape here. I did add one robot. I'm leaving space for my coats. I want to put a coat on each page. So I'm trying to leave space here. I'm going to put my coat on the planet itself, on the big planet. And then I'm just decorating the page with more elements from the booklet. Again, I'm trying. Here is another tip. Always put a contrasting color, the element against the background. So my elements here are, when it's uh, vibrant, I put it against something that is less vibrant. When it is blue, I put something yellow on top of it. Add the contrasting color so they can stand against the background. Then I'm just going to bring my black suit and go all around with my blender to define the edges and frame my insert pages. I'm also going to use a dark purple. You're gonna find both the colors linked down below to uh, define the edges of the purple areas. Make sure to check the description below for the giveaway that is going on since last week. To join the giveaway, visit my website mentioned in the description below and create an account and follow my Instagram, also linked down below. Here I found that the, it was so pale, the star, so I decided to go all around it with black and then go around the black with uh, my white gel pen just to give it some dimension and pop of color and uh, make it stand against my other elements. I am also going to use my white gel pen to add these cute stars and shiny objects all over my space area. Here is another tip. Try your best to 
put them in random places and of different sizes and make clusters so you can make a class a big one i usually make a big one and around it smaller ones as if it's a, um, a planet and around it its own moons and then for the planets i did go all around it with my uh, white gel pen as if it is shining and also don't forget the die cuts in the middle go through it go again on it use your white gel pen to go to color this area the areas in the middle so it does show that your planet is floating in the space it's not just a block of paper I'm gonna take my time and add all these stars and uh, shiny stars and their moons or the planets all around my space area on all the pages different color different sizes take your time until it looks pretty and you're happy with how it looks I am not uh, following any pattern I'm just going very random all around my planets and all around the object see again I'm going in the die cut areas and adding my uh, white gel pen here <laughs> to add a quote on the cover of the art journal I love so much this word out of this world so I'm gonna cut it this is the cover of the paper element booklet I am uh, gonna go my I'm so sorry Marlene to cut through your picture like this but I love so much your design and uh, the glitter on it the font the white all around it it's just so pretty so I did cut it with my exacto knife then I'm going to go for a detailed cutting with my uh, small scissors all around it I'm going to leave a border all around it showing the space around the, uh, the white frame then I'm going to add foam tape behind it to raise it a little bit and then I'm gonna place it on uh, the cover of the page also I'm going to bring my memento pen it's also black and I'm going to go through all around my uh, the edges of the die cut to frame it and also to hide any imperfections that happened while I was cutting then uh, with the foam tape and then I placed it between the peek through holes that I created earlier look how cute it is um, I did also bring some of the planets that are uh, uh, in the booklet. Look how glittery and cute they are. And then I'm going to place them inside uh, on the cover outside. And I did add some enamel dots and uh, some jewels, stickers, so to embellish the front page. Here I'm going to add uh, a coat on each of the pages. I'm using this rubber stamps to stamp the word shine it doesn't matter if it doesn't stamp fully or it's not uh, the, the ink is showing it is supposed to look distressed then I'm going to bring my gel pen and define define the um, the word adding the white gel pen on only one side I did create a similar collage paper tags and I'm going to link it on top on the right corner. So if you want to go there. But I didn't use my gel matte medium to attach the pages. I used a big roll of double sided tape. So make sure to check that because it's also a different technique. And it's also fun. Here I did put elastic band through the holes that the die set creates for you. On the cover. And then I did slip my inner pages inside. I did stamp the word you before all of the beside all of my coats. So it goes you shine, you smile, look at the details, look at the planets. Look how everything looks. 
you dream, and this is the page where the last thing Ben shows, look how you peek through the next page, and then the word you enjoy. I did make sure that I do place an, a paper element behind every window, and then by the end you are out of this world. Look how amazing it is. It's just so cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun creating this booklet today. I hope you did too. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below this video telling me which page you like the most. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!